Hello and welcome to Lovely English Stories. Thank you for stopping by. This story is written for beginner to lower intermediate English learners. Ready? Let's get started. A two B one English story: The Perfect Pie. Sophie was suffering from toothache. This was the fifth time in two years that her wisdom tooth had become infected. She was fed up with it. Luckily, her dentist had given her some antibiotics, and she hoped the pain. Would start to ease. To cheer herself up, she decided to make her favorite meal of chicken and vegetable pie with potatoes. She knew it would take a few hours to make, but. It would be a good distraction from her achy jaw. When Sophie was a little girl, her parents always made her chicken pie or chicken soup to make her feel better. She went to the shops and bought organic chicken. Mushrooms, carrots, peas, eggs, potatoes, and flour. She also bought some of her favorite chocolate yogurts. She decided she would make the pie, and then have a relaxing evening in front of the TV while eating. Her favorite snacks. Making pies was a long process, but it was worth it in the end. She started by making the short crust pastry. She mixed together the flour, salt, butter, and water in a bowl, and then put it. In the fridge. Then she started to make the pies filling. She fried some onions and garlic, and then added the chicken and a little bit of white wine. While this was cooking, she cut the carrots and mushrooms. Into small pieces. Once the chicken was cooked, she added some herbs and then the vegetables, along with the peas she had bought at the supermarket. She put the lid on the pan and lowered the heat. She then started to make the pies sauce. She made this by mixing milk, chicken stock, and wine. She also added some herbs and some flour to thicken it up. Once the sauce was ready. She poured it all over the vegetables and chicken and stirred. She left the mixture bubbling away on a low heat while she got the pastry out of the fridge and rolled it flat. She also got out a big dish, and then emptied the pie mixture. Into it, she then laid the pastry on the top, and made some little holes to let the air 
out. She then put the pie in the oven and started on the mashed potatoes and gravy. She peeled the potatoes and boiled them with a little bit of salt. She kept some of the juices from the pie mixture to add to her gravy. She always did this. It made it extra tasty. Once the potatoes were boiled, she drained off the water and mashed them with some full fat milk and butter. Then she took the pie out of the oven and cut herself a piece. It looked delicious. Then she put the piece of pie on her plate with some mashed potatoes, extra peas and gravy. Sophie had to eat slowly because her tooth was still painful, but she enjoyed every mouthful. Eating slower made her appreciate the flavours. After she finished, she felt very happy. She put all the dirty pots in the dishwasher and left the pie out to cool down before she put it in the fridge to have some more the next day. Sophie decided to get into her pyjamas. She had a quick shower and washed her hair. She instantly felt better. She was clean and had a belly full of tasty food. She made herself a lovely cup of hot chocolate. She got her favourite chocolate yoghurt out of the fridge and made herself comfortable on the sofa, ready for a night of television. It wasn't very often that Sophie sat down and relaxed. Her tooth infection had forced her to. Apart from the pain, she enjoyed doing nothing for a change. She fell asleep in front of the television at about 10pm and woke up very confused at 2am. She turned off the television, added her spoon and cup to the dishwasher, turned it on and went to bed. She went to sleep with a smile on her face, knowing that her tooth was getting better and that she could eat more of her perfect pie tomorrow. What food makes you feel better when you are ill? Tell us in the comments below. We hope you enjoyed this lovely English story. Thank you for stopping by and don't forget to like, subscribe and share. See you soon.